on live. So come. Mm. Hare Krishna. Welcome to another live event of this series from the GBC, Strategic Planning Team. Today, we have a special guest from uh, Mayapur, Shirada Govinda Dasi, who will uh, sing and speak uh, on the theme of uh, prayers in the time of pandemic. Our different Acharyas and Vaishnava saints, I pray to the Lord, facing different type of crisis. So Shirada Govinda Dasi, she grew up in a Vaishnava family, so she grew up absorbing this uh, culture, devotional culture, learning songs. Uh, she would sing in different uh, uh, Indian languages. Uh, she's an author. She wrote several books, uh, uh, mostly about astrology because she's uh, an astrologer. Uh, her book, uh, How to Mess Up Your Life with Astrology, is an underground classic in uh, India. She in, in his economy, and uh, she is also uh, the director of the division of uh, called Bhakti Marriage Systems as part of the ISKCON Congregational Development uh, Ministry. She's also an expert in personality analysis, uh, and um, she today is with us on her free time. She is also my wife so without further ado i i leave uh, her to speak for herself to sing for herself this would not be a an interview as such she has prepared some songs and some stories for you it's a meditation it's an absorption in this mood of uh, helplessly ask the lord for shelter and uh, refuge <clears throat> so, ladies and gentlemen, Shirada Govinda Dasi. Hare Krishna. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. So today we will be looking at some devotees, special devotees, who prayed to the Supreme Lord during a time of crisis. When we speak of crisis, Right now, the world is going through the, this particular pandemic, coronavirus, and this has been since the beginning of creation, there have been crises, external crisis and internal crisis. So I would like to start with this invocation prayer by Purandara Dasa, who is a saint from South India, who is considered as the incarnation of Narada Muni. And he gives this introduction which is going to be our introduction for this prayers for pandemic today. Holaya Banda Nendu, Walage Devara Madi, Gana Gana Gante Badi Sutta. Holaya Banda Nendu, Walage Devara Madi, Gana Gana Gante Badi Sutta. Tanuvina kopa, hole yalla ve naya, manasina vanchane, hole yalla ve naya, tanuvina kopa, hole yalla ve naya, manasina vanchane, hole yalla ve naya, inta horagita, hole yana, volage tumbitu kondu, inta horagita, hole yana, volage tumbitu kondu, ida keno matu. Here is a prayer to the Lord saying, Oh, there is dirt. We can say the virus. There is the virus and I'm trying to protect myself. I'm trying to stay clean. I'm trying to keep the dirty fellow outside. I'm trying to keep the virus outside. I'm trying to do so many external activities to keep myself from this contamination. Yet, my dear Lord, I know, I know that the virus of anger is polluting my body. The virus of lust is contaminating my soul. 
to my dear Lord, even if there is a cure for the external pandemic, even if there's a cure for external diseases, what is the cure for this internal disease, which is causing all other disasters in this material world? So this is a very good introduction to begin with when we are looking at the problems outside, the virus outside, and we are ringing the bell, ghana, ghana, ghante, we are ringing the bell of uh, stay away from contamination, but let's also take a look at what is the source of all these miseries? What is the source of this human suffering, this humanity? Why are we suffering? First prayer I would like to speak about Gajendra. So there was this amazingly powerful king of elephants who was in his previous life a king called Indraduna. Unfortunately, in his previous life, he had learned a prayer to the Supreme Lord. And uh, um, in his elephant body, he was strolling in the forest as the king, along with all his she elephants and his little baby elephants, and sporting in the water and going inside the lake while a disaster happens. And this can be considered as the physical crisis, external physical crisis example. So his life was in danger. And the crocodile, which was an animal of water, who was more powerful in water, caught hold of Gajendra's feet. And it was pulling Gajendra inside and inside the water. And Gajendra was bleeding. And this was looking like the end for Gajendra. Then suddenly, after many, many, many years, he remembers the Supreme Lord. The relevance for us is how we try our best to find solutions for our life, find economy, try to get our life together, our career together, our relationships together. We try to do our best. So Gajendra trying to do his best to survive the physical crisis of survival, the externally having that desire to survive it can be relevant for us. And at that moment, he's, after failing to escape from the situation, he was losing his energy, just like we are all losing our energy in this particular pandemic. And we are unable to, it, everything is so uncertain. We don't know what is going to happen. So what Gajendra did, <clears throat> Akutara Priya Srinivasaraya Srinivasaraya He Srinivasaraya. So the story what happens is when Gajendra starts to call out to the Supreme Lord, he surrenders. When determination doesn't work, when our plans don't work, surrender. So he calls out to the Lord with desperate intense prayer and Gajendra Moksha prayers are so beautiful and anybody who recites these prayers every day will become fearless which is a benediction in the Srimad Bhagavatam and nobody will have bad dreams by reciting Gajendra's prayers so Gajendra recites these wonderful prayers with a lotus that he lifts it up and what happens is amazing the supreme personality of Godhead he is in his abode, happily with his concert and leaving all his family business. He doesn't even tell his concert that Acharya is singing in this song. He's saying the Supreme Lord didn't even tell his wife. He didn't even inform her, his wife. He jumped on Garuda and Garuda flew at the speed of light and came down where Gajendra was. And then Supreme Lord gets down and saves Gajendra. And he not only subdues the demon crocodile, but he also liberates the crocodile and reveals the whole purpose. So in other words, um, crocodile was not an ordinary crocodile. This was actually a mystical, mysterious, powerful um, person, celestial person who was cursed to become a crocodile. 
that's another relevance for us today that we can pray to see the Lord's hands in this particular crisis situation, whether it's within the world or within our own lives. Just like in this situation of Gajendra, who was not an ordinary elephant, not even an ordinary king elephant, but he was actually a devotee in his previous life. And similarly, the crocodile as well was actually a special being. So similarly, the Lord has his hands. So the coronavirus, uh, no matter how evil it can actually sound, we can pray to the Lord to help us to see his purpose. So the coronavirus can be compared to the crocodile and it has its purpose. The Supreme Lord is bringing us some lessons so we can pray to the Lord to reveal what that purpose is in our own lives and for humanity in general. Next, I would like to share the personality who went through economic crisis. See, the pandemic itself is not the only problem. It is the root of the problem of everything else that's gonna come up. But the pandemic, the disease itself, it's gonna affect people in general, the lives of people, the health, the immunity, all this. At the same time, there's going to be consequences of that. So today we're gonna to like discover different kinds of crisis situations. So with Bali Maharaj's story, I would like to share how he had a, let's call it a political and economic and political crisis in his life. <clears throat> so I will start reciting this verse. It's in Sanskrit. This is a verse um, composed by Badi Raja Tirtha. He is one of our Vaishnava Acharyas who comes in the Madhva line. He was a very, very powerful um, uh, Acharya in the line of Madhva Sampradaya. And... Um, Actually, I have to say a little bit of the story of why he composed this particular verse. This is a Dashavatara Stuti. He composed it in the uh, rag of the horse galloping because he was worshipping the Hayagriva deity. He had actually a Hayagriva deity in his uh, deity box. So one day he opens his deity box to find the deities to worship the Hayagriva deity and he doesn't find the deity there. The deity has disappeared. And he is like, oh my God, where is the deity? And he gets up and goes outside and he hears this farmer uh, rushing into the ashram and screaming, oh, Vadi Raja Tirtha, oh, Vadi Raja Tirtha, your horse has come and eaten all my crops. Now I am in economic crisis. I am now finished. I have no grains anymore to feed my family. Your horse has destroyed all my crops. And Vadi Raja Tirtha is actually very grave. He's very um, graceful and he doesn't get disturbed at all hearing this. And he says, oh, show me where the horse is. And the, and the um, uh, farmer takes Vali Rajatirtha and he takes him and he shows, look, look, all this, all this is destroyed. All my crops are gone. And then he asks, where's the horse? So basically, uh, Vali Rajatirtha sees this um, um, uh, field and he starts to compose this beautiful prayer that I'm going to sing shortly and when he starts singing this prayer <clears throat> the horse jumps and comes towards Vadira Jatirtha and the farmer um, according to the tune of this particular song and it's exactly the horse galloping and the horse is smiling and laughing and jumping and um, it's like such a beautiful sight <clears throat> And the farmer doesn't understand anything. And then Vagira Chatirtha says, go back and look at your fields. And, he's, he, and the farmer is distressed. <clears throat> so he goes back and both of them look at the field. And everywhere that the crops have been disappeared, there is gold everywhere. So this shows that the Supreme Personality of God himself came in the form of the horse, in the Hayagriva incarnation of the Supreme Lord. And he actually... Um, ate the crops but gave gold in there so what we may think is a crisis may actually be a benediction that's the lesson in this <clears throat> so i will sing a couple of um uh paragraphs from this verse that describes this particular incarnation of hayagriva and also matya and then i will explain later the prayer that and the relevance for us <clears throat>
ಪಿಂಗಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಕ್ರಮ ತುರಂಗಾದಿ ಸೈನ್ಯ ಚತುರಂಗಾವಲಿಪ್ತ ಧನುಜ ತಾಂಗಾಧ್ವರಸ್ತ ಬಲಿ ಸಾಂಗಾವ ಪಾತ ಋಷಿ ತಾಂಗಾಮರಾಲಿ ನುತತೆ ಶೃಂಗಾರ ಪಾದನಕ ತುಂಗಾಗ್ರ ಭಿನ್ನ ಕನಕಾಂಗಾಟ ಪಾತಿ ತಟಿನಿ ತುಂಗಾತಿ ಮಂಗಳ ತರಂಗಾಭಿಭೂತ ಭಜ ಕಾಂಗಾಘವಾ ಮನ ನಮಃ ಜ್ಞಾನಾರ್ಥ ವಾಮನ ನೋ ನೋ ನಾಥ ಪಾಹಿಯ ಜಮಾನ ಸುರೇಶ ವಸುಧ ದಾನಾಯ ಯಾಚನಿ ಕಲೀಲಾರ್ಥ ವಕ್ವಶಿತ ನಾನಾ ಸದಸ್ಯ ಧನುಜ ಮೀನಾಂಕ ನಿರ್ಮಲ ನಿಶಾನಾಂಥ ಕೋಟಿಲ ಸಮಾನಾತ್ಮ ಮೌಂಜಿ ಗುಣಕೋ ಪೀನಾಚ ಸೂತ್ರ ಪದಯಾನಾಥ ಪತ್ರಕರ ಕಾನಮ್ಯ ದಂಡವರ ಭೃತ್ So this is the prayer about the incarnation of Vamana Dev because we are talking about economic crisis and let's talk a little bit about Bali Maharaj and what this verse speaks about. So Bali Maharaj's prayer is very noteworthy and it's actually very relevant for all of us during this pandemic time. It's worthy of Bali Maharaj's activities, his qualities, his devotion and his prayers are worthy of glorification. <clears throat> so when Bali Maharaj had taken the oath of fulfilling this particular yagya and he had um invited all the brahmanas and everybody of the universe to come and ask any donation they wanted and the supreme personality of godhead as he is he always has his um purpose and with ba- with bali maharaj who was actually a very very powerful king that had that had defeated all the devas all the devas were afraid of bali maharaj and and his elephants and his horses and chariots and cavalry and infantry and army chaturanga bala he his army's power was incomparable and he was so powerful as a person so in this verse it is described that this beautiful courageous uh, amazingly powerful person was bali maharaj what is his prayer to vamana dev <clears throat> so uh, it is described how bali maharaj on in this particular yagya he was sitting there and he was about to complete the yagya and then vamana dev walks there nobody knows it's vamana dev right so he walks there and he asks for donation he asks for three steps of land <clears throat> so then um bali maharaj's ego is crushed when vamana dev starts to grow himself and takes over the upper planetary systems with one step then he takes over the lower planetary s- systems in the second step which was all belonging to bali maharaj and then the third step there is no more place to keep <clears throat> so then he asks where do i keep the third step so this prayer is where it's um revealing how the lessons were learned how bali maharaj's mm, heart was transformed by the touch of vamana dev's tricks so the whole past time takes place and uh, um, bali maharaj does the best thing he surrenders during times of crisis when our determination fails when our plans fail when all our desires are crushed instead of trying to pursue another determination the best course is to follow bali maharaj whose intention whose motivation is surrender and to that form of shri vamana dev um from whose mouth the vedas were uttered very beautifully as vamana dev walked into that ceremony as a yachika as a beggar and he mesmerized everybody who was there and with his very interesting and sweet talks he actually got bali maharaj to surrender to him so the relevance for us is how the lord's plans will help us to surrender we never know so the stock markets are crashing falling rich people are losing their money left and right people are losing billions of dollars millions of dollars so our prayer to the lord can be because you know if you see the stock market where is the money going it's like disappearing where is it going so that's like vamana dev steps he takes one step and everything is occupied 
So human beings cannot conceive of this Pramaya, his amazing capacity to manifest himself and, and, and his power. So we can pray to the Lord to help us see his hand in all these situations in our particular economic crisis. We can ask the Lord to show us how we can depend more on him and to trust him that he's going to take care of us and not be bewildered by the crash of the economy and the money itself and try to see what the Lord wants us to learn and grow. <clears throat> the next verse is the incarnation, as I, as, as I said earlier about the pastime of Hayagriva, the deity, the uh, incarnation of the Lord who killed the demon Hayagrivasura and both Matsya's incarnation and Hayagriva's incarnation are connected because both of them saved the Vedas. So let's see how that's relevant for us today. So the prayer goes like this. Prashtisha vikraha sunishtiva no tata vishishtam buchari jaladhe Koshtantara hita vichishta ghamoga parameshti di tatpamamam Preshtarka sunumanu cheshtarta matma vida tishto yuganta samaye ಶ್ರೀಂಗದೃತಕಾಷ್ಟಾಂಬುವಾಹನಪರಾಷ್ಟಾಪದಪ್ರಭತನೋ ಶಂಡಾಮರೇಶ ಹಯ ತುಂಡಾಕೃತೆ ದೃಶಮ ಖಂಡಾಮಲಂ ಪ್ರದಿಶಮೇ ಓ ಶ್ರೀಹರಿ ಯು ವೇರಿಂಗ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಮೇಝಿಂಗ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಫಿಶ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಫಿಶ್ ಹು ಲಿವ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾರ್ಡಿನರಿ and you are swimming deep inside the waters also of the subconscious mind that Charya has described. And this ocean, it looks so dangerous. And the Acharya has explained how this ocean is also compared to the ocean of material birth and death, the cycles of birth and death. And this ocean is so dangerous because of the presence of big whales and similar animals who are waiting to devour us. <clears throat> and in the same ocean you are fearlessly swimming inside these waters and you are proving your supremacy and in your stomach you have kept all the vedas and you have saved the vedas and these vedas have been given back to brahma who in turn is glorifying you who is the purpose of the vedas <clears throat> So this Matsya Avatar, as the Vedas were saved, please save my consciousness. Please help me understand the purpose of my life. And the next, the Khandi Bhavad Bahula Dindira Jhingbana Su Chandi Krito Dadi Maha. This is again the description of the ocean, how dangerous and how ferocious and how cruel the waves of these oceans are. And in these oceans, just like in the, with your golden horns, you are protected. the 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 matsya avatara he pulled this huge boat and survived the seed of creation he helped survive help survive the humanity survived because of him and it was the extinction of human extinction of humanity was averted because of this incarnation so similarly our prayer to the supreme lord is <clears throat> avert all the disasters and help me to progress towards you and and just like you kill chandashwa kantamada shundala durhrudaya this this asura had a very bad heart bad habits can be compared to bad habits so you kill that bad hearted asura and you are that aprameya you are that inconceivable one with amazing qualities and you're always loved by the gyanis and the devotees and everybody and so please protect me and the beautiful conclusion of this prayer please give me the knowledge that can never be broken so that i'm always on the right path so that during the times of crisis i know what to do 
So the relevance for us, what can be our personal prayer, meditation, to ask the Lord to help us, to lead us through these times of crisis within our communities, within our families, and in humanity, to help us to overcome the effects of this crisis in the Krishna conscious manner and to protect our enthusiasm to keep serving. Because there are so many agitations all around, so many conspiracy theories, so many things are going around. So it's how we are going to react to it, how we are going to respond to all these things going around us. And that is through surrender and through taking shelter of the Lord. And in that context of taking shelter of the Lord in crisis, and it's like an overall crisis, if you can say the overall crisis of, for us, it could even be the crisis of faith. It's the example of Pandavas. Pandavas repeatedly, consistently, constantly had to go through one crisis after another. <clears throat> Pandavaranu kola bekendu, Durula kaurava bandu, Ati harusha dali ruti ralandu, Hari kripe avaralitta karana, Hari kripe avaralitta karana, Gora durita bayalagu dilabe, Bandad bela barali, Govinda nada yevondirali, Bandad bela. The Pandavas repeatedly, there was an attempt to kill them. So many conspiracy theories, they were put inside a lack house, which was made of grass and ghee and animal meat. All these things did not affect them because the Supreme Lord's mercy was there and they were constantly being protected no matter what kind of crisis situation they were thrown into. And it, it is said that the, the Vaishnava saint is actually glorifying. This is a song in Kannada. It's um, Devanagari Kannada uh, language, which um, describes that the Supreme Lord, even through the crisis, he brought about amazing results even for the Pandavas. Uh, and in the, in the prayers of Queen Kunti also, we can see how she's actually asking for more difficulty so that the Supreme Lord will always be there to protect. So crisis is not necessarily a depressing thing or a bad thing. Crisis can actually help us grow out of our old self and can actually help us become like Pandavas who were reestablished in their faith, regardless of all kinds of crises. They had the economic crisis, they had physical crisis, they had crisis for their own lives. <laughs> the Ryodhana was trying to kill them repeatedly. And yet, because of the Lord's mercy was upon them, they were always God conscious. They didn't worry too much how to solve um, all the nitty gritty of life, but they were always taking shelter. So the Acharya is describing, so similarly give me that faith. Lead me through this crisis of faith and give me shelter. <clears throat> One time in uh, Malpe Beach, this is in Karnataka, Udupi, Madhvacharya, this is the time of Madhvacharya, and he was walking in the beach chanting mantras. And he saw that there was a ship in the distant, in the ocean, sailing across and coming towards the shore. And when he, when he saw the ship, the ship, was, the ship was about to drown. And because of this huge winds that was actually taking down the ship, and it was about to drown. And Madhvacharya, he just took his chadar and he just waved the chadar and put it on his back. And it is described, Hanum, actually Hanuma Bhima Madhva. Madhvacharya is none other than Hanuman's incarnation. And he was Bhima as well. And he appeared as Madhvacharya. So he's Vayu, he's Vayu Putra. So he, he's the... He, he's so powerful. So just with this wave of the chadar, he saved that ship from drowning and he directed the winds to come to the shore safely. So the relevance is for us, when we take shelter of the great personalities, our, our acharyas, our gurus, Vaishnavas, with the wave of their chadar, they can redirect our lives to the right direction. 
So in this wave of this pandemic, which is taking us off the shores, it may be time for humanity to come to the right spot. So Madhvacharya, after this incident happens, he gets gift of Gopi Chandan. It's the tilak, big tilak block inside which he actually finds Krishna deity. And this is actually the deity from Dwapara Yuga. This is the same deity that Rukmini Devi had worshipped. And Narada Muni had gifted this deity to Rukmini because she had never seen the childhood pastimes of Krishna. So this Krishna deity came to the hands of Madhvacharya. And with this deity in his arms, he was carrying this deity <clears throat> and he was speaking, he was singing songs about crisis, about con uh, construction, about destruction, about creation. And, and the, the way the Lord actually creates, maintains and destroys and the purpose of the Lord. So I would like to share a couple of paragraphs of this song. This is also in Sanskrit. This is a composition by Madhvacharya. You can imagine Madhvacharya carrying this deity in his arms and walking all the way from the shore towards Udupi <coughs> and singing this song. Srishti Samhara Leela Vila Satatam Pushta Shad Gunya Sad Vigraha Lasinam Dushtani Shesha Samhara Kam Vajatam Vishti Vishtati Shishta Praja Samshaya Vinayamu Vasudevam Devata Mandala Khanda Mandalam Prinayama Vasudevam Prinayama Vasudevam Unnata Pratita Shesha Sam Sadakam Sanata Laukika Nandana Shri Padam Binna Karma Shraya Sam Prira Kanitam Binna Karma Shraya Prani Sam Prerakam Tanakim Neti Vipam Sudhi Mamsitam Prinayama Vasudevam Devata Mandala Khanda Mandalam Prinayama Vasudevam Prinayama Vasudevam Devata Mandala Khanda Mandalam Prinayama Vasudevam Prinayama Vasudevam My dear Supreme Lord I love you. Oh, Vasudeva, I love you. I love your hand and everything. I love everything that you do. Creation, the maintenance, and the destruction is planned by you, my dear Lord. And we, the rest of us, we are the puppets, including the demigods. And you send calamities and happiness, both. And you send the calamities to remove those unnecessary things and to remove, and, and remove dushta, means bad evil elements and to remove that badness within us both material and spiritual benedictions are given by you and miseries are the very way for purification please my dear lord vasudeva let me see your hand and love you for everything just like you grant all the prayers to dhruva maharaj and other great devotees please protect all of us and give us the intelligence and give us the intelligence to take shelter of you your auspicious lotus feet gives all auspiciousness. This is the Prinayamo Vasudevam. Devata Mandala Khanda Mandalam. I love you. I love you. That's a simple translation of this song. No matter what happens in my life, my dear Lord, help me to take shelter of you. No matter what is going on, let me lead, let all these things lead me towards you. <clears throat> Next, I would like to share the story of one devotee whose name was Ramadasa. This is a story from Andhra Pradesh, South India. So there was a devotee of Lord Ram. His name was Ramadasa. And he was working in the, as a minister in the court of the Muslim king, Tana Shaha. And back that time, he was actually the district collector. And he was a very 
favored minister of the king. While he was also performing his duties as the tasildar or the collector, and he was very loyal and dutiful towards his job. At the same time, he was also performing his devotional service. So once he visited Badrachala and he saw the state of the self-manifested deities, which were actually found through mystical manner, and he saw very, very bad condition there. And he said he wanted to build a temple. So he personally went through a lot of austerities and he personally collected money with his own hands and living a very austere life. And just before the completion of the temple, they were running out of a little bit of money. So he was thinking of so many different ways to take that money. So he took a loan from the government and finished building the temple. After building that temple, after doing all this devotional service, I mean, he has composed several beautiful songs all through this journey of performing the service while building the temple, everything. Due to some political conspiracy, he was accused of stealing money from the government, which was completely false because there were people who were against him. They were jealous and envious of his position. So they wanted to harm his reputation and remove him from his from his job. So they complained to the king and they accused him of things that he did not do. And the king, because he was in, he got bewildered by the controversy and the conspiracy there, he jailed Ramadasa. Such an amazing devotee was jailed 12 years. If we are complaining about 12 days of lockdown or 120 days of lockdown, we can think of this devotee who was jailed for performing devotional service. So it's like question of justice. Sometimes we ask, why is this happening to me? What did I do? So Ramadasa composed several songs that actually describes his questioning the Lord, what the purpose of this exile was, this imprisonment was. And there is one particular song that I'd like to share with you because deeply meditate, the meditation of Ramadasa, this prayer is very deep about the crisis. This is a spiritual crisis. This is the crisis of asking the Lord to pick us up from this miserable condition that we're feeling and we are feeling in prison. <clears throat> Yeti Rogananu, the Yachu Chadavo in a bum shot drama Natharama Bhava Sagarami the no Nalina the Lakshana drama Shri Ragunandana. Sita Ramana Shrita Janapo Shaka Rama Karunya Laya Bhakta Varadanino Kanadika Nupu Rama Krura Karma Mulo Neraka Chesiti Neramulin Chaku Rama Krura Karma Mulo Neraka Chesiti Neramulin Chaku Rama Daridriamupari Haramuche Yavi Deva Shika Marni Rama Dari Dremu Pari Haravuse Yave Deva Shika Marni Rama Vasava Kamala Bhava Suravandita Varadi Bandana Rama Basura Vara Sakuna Mula Velatina Badra Drishwara Rama 
वासवनुत राम दास पोषक वंदन मयोध्य रामा दासाचित मा कभय मो संगवे दैव शिखा मणि रामा दासाचित मा कभय मो संगवे दैव शिखा मणि रामा ये तिरुगननो दयचूचदवाय नवंशोतम रामा <clears throat> this is a very intense song it's a very intense prayer it's a prayer where hmm, ramadas is actually feeling desperate for mercy and he is requesting ye tirugananu i am the i am swimming in this material ocean and i am wretched i am so desperate for your mercy and i am a beggar of your mercy so i'm begging you dear lord ram oh great king of the surya dynasty great achiever of inconceivable feats and deeds when will it be possible for me to swim across this world of worldly concerns oh lotus eye drama when when will that day be mine when you're going to show me mercy when will you protect those who seek you o oh, son of ragu clan o oh, abode of compassion karunyalaya bhaktavatsala you are known as the giver of boons to the devotees please give me this boon please give me this boon to see you with my eyes i have already declared i'm giving all my love all my life into your devotion and you are my lord and please don't forget please give me your consideration and i take refuge in you i have done several cruel deeds krura karma so many cruel deeds i have mountain of sins please don't count these please remove my distress daridrimu this can be translated into so many different ways all the different kinds of crisis the health crisis the economic crisis the crisis of faith the crisis spiritual crisis all these crises <clears throat> please relieve me from all these daridrim all these miseries all these distresses free me oh jewel amongst the foremost of gods oh lord, oh lord rama you praised by indra brahma and various gods and you build the ocean you build the bridge across the ocean so build that bridge to cross over the material concerns i'm praising you my lord the sustainer of the world please save me and he's saying please save this ramadasa please save this krishna dasa my obeisance is to you o lord ram of ayodhya your worship by all your devotees please give us protection please protect us from fear o dasharatha son o rama please save me the the intensity of this prayer is also reflected in how in this past time of lord ramadasa after 12 years 12 years see there's the whole weight even if he was had not done anything so the ending is very relevant for us the supreme lord's hand is seen only in the end of the situation we may not understand what's going on during the process so in this story of ramadasa when he was in the prison one night the tana shaha was sleeping and in the midnight he was awoken by two very handsome and beautiful and powerful muscular men standing in his inside his bedroom and the king is very surprised who are these two people so he questions them and and he surprised how these two people came inside amidst all the guards so he comes they, these these two people declare and say okay my dear king 
We are here to release Ramadasa from him, his imprisonment. And here you go. And they gave gold coins and silver coins in the hands of the king and the king counts. And it was exactly what Ramadasa had owed him. <clears throat> and these two great personalities ask for a written receipt from the king and they very quickly disappear. And in the morning he wakes up and he realizes, was it a dream or was it reality? And he looks at these gold coins and, in, and on top of every coin is actually Rama, Lakshmana, the, the coin had Rama and Lakshmana on them. And then they realized both Ramadasa and the king both realized what had happened. They had realized that the Supreme Personality of God had Lord Sri Ram along with his brother Lakshman had personally come to save Ramadasa. Ramadasa was not very concerned about his release from the prison, but he became very depressed because he realized that Lord Ram had given darshan to this king who's a Muslim, who's not a devotee, who's not a Vaishnava, but he did not give darshan to Ramadasa. So the song also reflects that intensity of desperation, of not being able to make it spiritually, that spiritual crisis which makes us crave, why am I not able to face this crisis in a bold way? Why am I concerned about so many things, disturbing things? Why am I not able to stay firm and have faith. So this is a relevant. Um, actually, this king was also not an ordinary king. There's a whole story of how in his previous life, he was a great Sh Shiva devotee. And he had done one mistake of skipping one day of puja. And he had broken the Shiva Linga, thinking that he had done 365 days of puja, whereas he had only done 364. So he was cursed by Lord Shiva um, that he will be born as a non-devotee. But because he had done 364 days of puja, he got a benediction that he will see the Lord face to face. And that's why Lord Ram had given him darshan. <clears throat> so that's the um, story of Ramadasa. So what we can learn from the story is to pray for values that helps us cross over the crisis situations, to take shelter of Srimad Bhagavatam, to take shelter of the Vaishnavas, to take shelter of the holy name, so that in times of crisis, we know what to cling to. Because if we cling on to material wealth, material uh, mundane relationships and achievements, it's going to drown us, just like this crisis is drowning economy. But if we hang on to values and devotion, it's going to help us. <coughs> just like Bhaktivinoda Thakur sings, So there, there's our Gaudiya Vaishnav song, Bajahure Mana. It beautifully depicts how not only this pandemic, every situation in this material world is precarious. Uncertainty is colored in this world everywhere. It's not only this pandemic. If it's not the pandemic, it's something else. <clears throat> so the, the tendency of the mind is to keep going here and there to try to take shelter, worry about this and that. But the acharyas give us the remedy, what we are supposed to do. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So we are done with the 45 minutes, but I'm going to end with our Bajam Hooray Mana song. I, I mean, if, if there is interest, I have another prayer as well. That's for emotional crisis because some of us are also going through some emotional crisis. Okay, so I've got an indication that we can continue. So I'm going to continue with Baja Hure Mana song. Baja Hure Mana Shri Nanda Nandana Abhaya Charanara Vindari Durlabha Mana Vajana Sindhu, 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 
पुत्र परिजना इते की आचे कमाला दाला जला जीवन तला मला कमाला दाला जला जीवन तला मला बजा हु हरी पादा नीतिर श्रवण कीर्तना स्मरण वंदना पाद सेवना दास्य श्रवण कीर्तना स्मरण वंदना पाद सेवना दास्य पूजन सखी जना आत्म निवेदना गोविंद दास भी दास रे पूजन सखी जना आत्म निवेदना गोविंद दास भी दास रे भजा हो रे मना श्री नंद नंदना अभय चरण अभय चरण the word abhaya charana abhaya is very <clears throat> important for us <clears throat> oh mind this is a prayer to the higher self to bring our mind to the lotus feet oh mind just worship the lotus feet of Na the son of nanda which makes one fearless having obtained this rare human form of life let us cross over this worldly existence through the association of saintly people both in the day and night i am remaining sleepless suffering the pains of heat and cold the wind and rain for a fraction of flickering happiness i have uselessly served wicked and miserly men what assurance of real happiness is there in all of one's wealth youthfulness sons and family members this life is stuttering like a drop of water on a lotus petal therefore you should always serve and worship the divine feet of lord hari it is the desire and great longing of govinda das to engage himself in the nine processes of bhakti hearing the glories of lord hari chanting those glories constantly remembering him and offering prayers to him serving the lotus feet serving the supreme lord as a servant worshiping him with flowers and incense and so forth serving him as a friend and completely offering to the lord one's very self <clears throat> so we can pray for fearlessness fearlessness can take us a long way through this pandemic and every other crisis of our life <clears throat> i would like to touch upon the emotional crisis point a lot of us experience loneliness and in this pandemic without having opportunities to go out and meet people this may be experienced even more and we're trying to have satisfying relationships and we can't help notice that lack that we have even if we are in good marriages are in good families we may still experience that lack within our heart and there was this person pingala she was a prostitute and in the shrimad bhagavatam she is actually glorified as one of the greatest teachers she is considered as one of the most important gurus among the 24 gurus that the avadhuta brahmana speaks of because her life and her example is very relevant for us today she was actually in a similar predicament like ours we all go through that human need for intimacy for relationships for that completion for that filling that lack that emptiness we have within us and she was one day waiting as usual at her doorstep waiting for customers to come and as she was waiting dressed very seductively and still sitting on her doorstep in a seductive way looking for a man that would be attracted by her she failed to attract any men that evening and later as she was contemplating on this she realized that her need was not just looking for the customer she was actually looking for a lover 
she was actually for looking for somebody that could make that lack within her that emptiness within her heart be full and she went back in time inside and she was thinking to rest for the day but as she was going inside she was fearing just like we are all fearing losing opportunities she was fearing thinking oh maybe that was my lover or maybe that was a person who wanted to come to me who am i losing so she was constantly afraid losing opportunities to find that lover who is going to fill that lack in her heart and she went outside rushing outside <clears throat> and she looked aho me mohavita tim ಪಶ್ಯತಾಶೋಕ ಸಂತಂ ಸಮೀಪೆ ರಮಣಂ ರತಿ ಪ್ರದಾಮಿತ ಪ್ರದಾಮಿತ ವಿಹಾಯ ಕಾಮದಾಂ ದುಃಖ ಭಯಾದಿ ಶೋಕ ಮೋಹ ಪ್ರದಂ ತುಚ್ಛ ಮಹಂ ಮೋಹ ಪ್ರದಂ ತುಚ್ಛ ಮಹಂ ಭಜೇ ಅಹೋ ಮೇ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೇಯ ಆಫ್ ಪಿಂಗಲ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ರಿಯಲೈಸಿಂಗ್ her desperateness how she was disappointed in the men of this world unable to satisfy that craving that that need for love and that need for intimacy that she had and she realized how the lust was ruining her and she was experiencing a moment of great realization where she realizes that the detachment she experienced how it was giving her such an anxiety this hankering that she was having and among many realizations she is lamenting her folly in seeking worthless lovers and <clears throat> she is analyzing and verbalizing how she was trying to replace that need for great divine happiness with things of this world so her story and her prayer can be a guiding light for those of us who may be experiencing loneliness emptiness experiencing lack within us that we try to cover those lacks with things of this world with people of this world and we expect those things and those people to give us satisfaction and pingala's story can give us that realization that nothing and nobody of this world can fill that lack within us except shri krishna <clears throat> and she says in the, in the shrimad bhagavatam 11th canto 8th chapter text 31 she beautifully explains to the lord her state and she's saying i'm such a fool that i've given up the service of that person who being eternally situated within my heart is actually most dear to me that most dear one is the lord of this universe who's the best shower of real love and happiness and the source of all prosperity although he is in my own heart i have completely neglected him i have ignorantly served insignificant men who can never satisfy my real desires so she is lamenting in this way and instead of striving to please such a wonderful lord who is always within our hearts always ready to fulfill every desire every need that we have only if we can to stretch out our arms and hold on to him <clears throat> so we can also pray whether we are looking for a suitor or we are trying to be satisfied in our marriages or we are trying to be um satisfied with what god has given us but this pandemic can give us a new look into our lives into our priorities and we can take shelter of lord nishinga dev who is always protecting us just like he protected prahlad and he just came in order to make the words of prahlad come true ಸತ್ಯಂ ವಿಧಾ ನಿಜ ಭೃತ್ಯ ಭಾಷಿತ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತಿ ಭೂತೇಶ್ವಕಿಲೇಶು ಚಾತ್ಮನ ಅದೃಶ್ಯತ ಅತ್ಯದ್ಭುತ ರೂಪ ಮುದ್ಭವ 
Sambe Samaya Namrugam Namanusham Namrugam Namanusham Namrugam Namanusham Vasoyati Sarvatra Tasmat Sambe Nadrishate Ari Sarvatra Sa Sarvatra Sambe Nadrishate Sambe Nadrishate Sambe Nadrishate so Lord Nishingadev appeared just to make Prahlad Maharaj's words come true. And he can give us pa power to become fearless. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and the Supreme Lord is present everywhere. Vasoyati Sarvatra Tasmat Sambena Drishyate. He was at present everywhere. Why cannot he be present within our own lives, within our own problems? Nishingadev, if he can be present in the pillar, he can be present within every situation of our life. So let us pray to Lord Nishingadev to give us that ability to that form of Lord, Lord Krishna who is a half man, half lion avatar who appeared in this world to save his devotees. Let, uh, let our devotion be saved. Dear Lord Nishingadev, please protect us. Please protect the world. Please help the humanity to come more closer to you and achieve love for Godhead, love for Krishna, love for the holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you very much for your attention. Hare Krishna. <coughs> Hare Krishna. So many thanks to Sri Radha Govinda Dasi. For sharing these songs, these stories, and these insights or realizations. So we are closing here. Thank you very much to all uh, who attended live and to those who will uh, watch this uh, later. Hare Krishna. And please come back soon. We have this uh, live events on a number of themes and subjects practically every day here at the GBC Strategic Planning Team.